Hey guys, my name is the Epic Alec, and welcome to this war of mine. This is a game that isn't exactly new, but it is a uh, side-scrolling platforming colony management game where you control just normal people stuck in a war-torn country as they just hope to survive. Now, this, in case you couldn't tell, this is kind of a depressing game. So if you aren't exactly uh, looking forward to, uh, if you aren't exactly looking for that, uh, feel free to click away. To click away. But uh, before you do, uh, just stick around for like one second to see, to let me explain why I am playing this today. So, <clears throat> if you have been living under a rock currently, Ukraine is being invaded by Russia under falsified pretenses by the Russian government, at least that's from, that's, that's what I've gathered so far, and this has led to uh, both apartments, nurseries, uh, just uh, buildings being bombarded with attacks as well as just the Ukrainian people. Uh, right now, I, I I'm not qualified to talk about the specifics. I'm just me. I'm not a reporter or anything, so I don't, I don't know everything. But what I do know is that the studio behind this game, Eleven Mid Studios, is currently, uh, for the next few days, I'm a little late to this, will be donating all proceeds that they get from this game and from its DLC to supporting the uh, Red Cross to help with Ukrainian uh, recovery. Now, if you don't want to help out in that way or just uh, can't because it's too late, too, I am also leaving a link down in the description for, uh, God, what was it? I literally just looked to make sure I had it right, to USA for UNHCR, as for, because right now, Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively are set to match every donation made up to one million dollars so yeah with that uh i'm just gonna i'm not gonna hesitate or delay anymore i i'm really not well spoken enough for this i am going to head on into the game so uh yeah let's give it a shot oh in case you couldn't tell i've played this game before <laughs> It's old. I've had it for like five years. Um, so I am going over here. These guys. That said, I've only survived that one time, as you saw, and that was just because I got lucky with a shortcut. Oof. When I'm pretty sure this is one of the DLC maps. It looks really good. B besides the fact that it's eviscerated. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Cassia met both Pavle and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter, while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavle was the star of the local football team. Katya even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. It, as this game progresses, you will uh, meet all these characters and you'll learn a bit more about them. I need to manage them, right? Um, what, what is this? I hope we'll manage to keep it warm. Certain parts of radio station are still here. Cool. Grab all this. Whoops. That is part of the reason why I haven't uh, recorded this, because my computer's stupid and isn't. It'll give me that 
thing that will pop up in front of my face while I'm trying to play this very good game. Um, where else can I Let's go over here? Can I make a bed? I don't know where I want to put a bed yet. Ah. Uh, need wood. Somebody give me wood. You're the bed. Why am I not getting any wood? Frick me. Sideways, specifically. Oh, that was a chair. That was an eluding spot. Dang it. Can you even go there? Wow, am I not able to make a bet? That's unlucky. Wait, maybe? Maybe? Gotcha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. <laughs> I'm just kind of flipping. There we go. Grab all that too. Alright, where am I? Hello? Um, where do I want to make a bed? I think I'll make a bed down in the bottom area here. That seems the most reasonable to me. Make bed. We'll put it right. We'll put it right there. Not in the wall. Well, uh, Bruno, luckily for you, actually, no. Mm. I'm trying to think. You would be. Hmm. Jeez, I thought. I thought that uh, Bruno running there was uh, somebody knocking on the door. Because, yes, that is a thing that people will do, they will knock on the door. And it's either a quest thing or it's a traitor. Either way, it's slightly terrifying. Eh. Um, what else can I do? Is there anything else I can do? I can just have Katya. Uh, Bruno. Bip, bip, bip. Trying really hard not, not <laughs> trying really hard not to trigger that uh, thing that pops up at the top, and I think one pops up at the bottom too. No, okay, well that's good. It's literally just the top. Can I move with the arrow keys? Maybe. No. Well, crap. Um, he said. Oh wait. Oh. I, I recognize now I recognize this place. I don't think I had the DLC for it, but there is a DLC where you play as a radio host. I can't uh well I would I would have loved to put the radio in that room with the uh all the radio equipment, but it's fine. I'll just put them over here instead with all the acoustic foam on the walls. Looks like a recording room. Kinda like mine. Even though the acoustic foam is, uh, well, it's not the same. It's much higher quality, and it's uh, actually on the walls. Also, this game is totally eh, originally in uh, Celsius and all that. I'm just... A filthy American uh, that changed it to uh, Fahrenheit so that I can understand. Uh, the rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. The upcoming day should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Hello? Uh, Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Pogorin, uh, the city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. Music. Oop. Oh, cool! I can hear it in the in the background. I'm gonna stick with the uh, current music the game is playing. Give me wood. Um, can we make anything else? Ooh, bottle caps. It's used as currency. It's like uh, Fallout. Which I'm not gonna lie, I have debated before in the past to uh, play Fallout 4 on the channel. Make a Make a stove. That'd be kind of useful, you know, to cook the food instead of just eating it all raw. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the day. There's not much else I can get accomplished. Because I believe end days all end at 7pm. So, we're just gonna move on to the night. Uh, we're gonna have... Even though he's sick, I'm gonna have Pavle be the scavenger. Bruno, you guard. Got ya, you sleep in the bed. Old school. Uh, the school has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. Right, there is a combat system. I don't have any weapons, though. So I'm gonna just have to be careful. And quiet. <laughs> I'm, I bet this is not... I'm not good at stealth. Case in point, my entire Hitman 2 series, my, <laughs> my Deathloop series so far, there they... Had classes when this shelling started, the poor kids, yeah. Uh, wood, electronics... Yeah. Those red rings are where noises are coming from. It'll help, it helps to give you a little indicator of where an, another person is, or or it could just be rats, which in this instance, it looks like it's just rats. Wood. I would have laughed if there was all of a sudden just a person there. I think, is that dirt? I think there's dirt in my way there. All right, let's head down. Because I don't know if anybody here is very angry. Oh, well, this is locked. Crap. All right, running back up then. Oops, did not mean to. Eh, it's a little aggressive, but it'll do. All right, I'm just gonna sit back and watch. I was playing and recording something else, but I decided this was more important. Uh, got a late start on the day too, so. I'm only gonna sit through uh, three days of this. I'm gonna play through to uh, day four, essentially. And I will leave it at that, so that you have, uh, if you do decide to purchase the game, you have more uh, surprises in store for you. Uh, if it is requested, I will try to do a, a full-on series for this, but right now that's my plan. I'm just going to leave it at the uh, for uh, day four. Do, do, do. Can I jump across? No? Okay. Eh. 
Also, something to keep of note, I do have to leave this place before the day ends, because if I do not make it in time back to the exit where we came from, uh, Bavle might not make it back because it will be daytime and he will be in the line of fire of snipers. Which, I don't know if you heard this, but people and bullets don't really mix all that well. Oh, I'm full of stuff. Well, I guess I'll be heading back soon then. Let's just double check and make sure there's nothing here that I can have. I'll take that supply and run to exit. Goodbye. Farewell, Venus, and... Pavle is back. Yay. Alright, the night this night was calm. Probably I've been searching for supplies and brought back some interesting things. And now he's gonna go lay in bed and be all dead. Sleep and sicky. I need to make another bed for Bruno. Got yeah, you're in charge of that. Yes, make another bed. We're gonna put it right... Wow, I chose the worst spot to set up as the bedroom, apparently. Because there's only room for that one bed. Okay, um... Right. <laughs> well, I don't... We wouldn't want to be up here. I'm just trying to think of this logically. I don't think anything actually happens here, aside from during the night. So... I am not worried about that, but it's literally just my own brain like strategizing. Okay. They wouldn't wanna they wouldn't wanna set up their beds on the top floor because then they're the closest to danger if something hits the place and that that that's my logic. Am I overthinking it? Probably. Do I care? No, because why would I? <laughs> There's no consequences. W well, real life consequences. Right now. Anyway. Alright, make a shovel. Get, uh, save me from my rambling and make a shovel. Bruno, go start digging. I can't make a crowbar now. Damn it. Back, back, burn up, back off. Shovel it. There we go. Ah, I know this. There's too much dust in this Michelle Department thing building. Look at how fast that is. Some components that can help me make a. Alright, got ya. Go up top. Uh, never mind. Uh, where else was a digging spot over here? You know, I don't think it's a great thing that our place is still on fire. The place that we're sleeping in, you know? I'm not sure that's great. And I really don't want to use a lockpick on this wall. Or on anything here, rather, because... Those are more for, like, stealthing and stuff. Oh, yay. I don't have to. God, you know, you're not giving... Me... When did I get jewelry? I really haven't been paying attention to where I've actually been picking up. God, nothing for a cobra yet. Wait. 
Wait a minute. Have we been able to... We've been able to come through this entire... Come... Okay. Is this a library? I mean, I know it, it, there's a setup for a radio station here, but it could have also been a library at the same time, too, maybe? I don't know. Actually, what... Got, wait, where is this building? Because there's also a bat up there? Really? Why do I have nothing? I don't have enough to make a freaking... Urgh, it's probably all down here, isn't it? Ah, it's all down. Ah. Alright, we'll use a lockpick. Lockpicks are one use only as opposed to the shovel and the crowbar, which are multiple uses. Okay, really? Okay, the game hates me. Ah. There's nobody, nobody out here, right? Well, we'll just end the day and hope it all works out. Alright, God, you sleep in the bed. Katya, yeah, you guard. Uh, shell brewery, there's danger there. The supermarket is located in the area. I know something happens in the supermarket. Let's go for it. Caution advised. Oh, frick you. Uh, my, my cautionary tale is I'm just gonna bring this shovel and murder people if anybody tries to murder me. Oh, hi, it's these guys. These guys are friendly. They, they do have scary guns, though. Hi. Hey, hi. How's it going? Should be enough for both of us, don't worry. Okay. I do get anxiety from being around other people like this, though. That's how I go on murder sprees. My, the survivors do not like killing people. Just a, just a quick FYI, they do not like killing people unless it's uh, justified. So, keep that in mind. Ooh, canned food. That's good. I could totally work. I could, I, could, I could figure this out. I could kill them all, maybe. Never mind. I'm just... Uh, just uh, we'll keep going. I don't know how much these guys are actually going to loot and take. I don't know if they actually take anything. They might just dig through. I mean, it says they're looting. I'll grab all that. Got a little hiding spot here, a little hiding nook. Oh, god damn it. I wanna go through. Yeah, I'm aware. You got you there's three of you and you all have guns. I really don't wanna try anything. Um do, do, do I want I don't really want the fertilizer right now. I'll take the electronic part instead. I could, I could, I could, I could do it. I could do it. I just got a, a, a well and well. One well placed shot to your head, and you're done. I could do it. What's up here? I see writing up here. I don't remember what the writing says. I've seen it before. Uh. A faded leaflet with skull and crossbones reads at danger, do not touch unexploded ammunition. Any weapons, ammunition, or equipment left behind or unexploded may be booby-trapped. Do not touch anything, do not risk a severe injury or death. Report any such finds to the nearest army outpost. Oh, what does that say? Uh, I'm your best friend, I kill you for nothing. Hmm. I am kind of disappointed it's actually these people instead. 
of the other person that you can justifiably kill and you benefit quite heavily from. Oh, uh, well, I don't... I don't support it personally, but Bruno is a smoker, so... Gotta give him a cigarette. Alright, let's get rid of these boars and then I think we'll call it. Because I am full up... And... Hi. I won't. I, in fact, here, watch me. I'm out of here like the Flash. Whoosh. Wait, they're chasing me down. <laughs> Uh, we've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. We were attacked at night. Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Katya was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We should put more people on guard. Probably have been searching for weapons or supplies and brought some interesting things. Katya got slightly wounded. Ooh, that might be my fault. That, that might be my fault. Ooh, I thought somebody was walking up to the door. My eyes are playing tricks. Alright, let's make another bed. Place it over here. Is that a clothesline? Actually, I don't know what that is. Is that a clothesline? Or is that just a torn up some like the torn up flag string thing. I'm bleeding, but just a little. Well, we don't have any medicine, so. Yeah, let's check the radio too, real quick, while you build that up, Katya. Yeah. Uh, any new updates? Yeah, same thing. All right, got yeah. Get some rest. Uh, bio. Right, I haven't even read the bios. Uh, Katya is a coffee drinker. I grew up in this city, but went abroad to study and started working as a reporter. I'd been away for years when the troubles escalated into a war. I was picked to write reports on it. I'd have volunteered anyway. I was so, ex uh, I was so anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins. My family had disappeared. I've been looking for them ever since. What about Bruno? What's going on up here? No idea. Uh, Bruno, smoker, like I said. Uh, before the war, I used to own a restaurant. I even had my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to last. And finally, we've got Pavle. Before this whole mess begun, I lived with my wife and son in the better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're okay. I'm not doing so well, as you can see. Who needs football players during war? Nobody cares about sports when every day can be their last. So I scavenge the ruins like everyone else, hoping for the best. Oh, hey, look, it's the, it's the trader guy. He knocks very aggressively. How they go back to sleep? Uh, run! Uh, 
Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah he seems very aggressive, but he's he, he's just a traitor. It wasn't easy to get here, so let's make an effort. Got ya. As you can see with the giant thing that says bargaining skills, he's uh, much better equipped to be doing handling trades. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Let's do 17 to get. I need something. Um, I said she's better. I didn't say she was the that uh, uh, gonna be able to rob him blind. Okay, let's do let's do this and some coffee. I will put in more more bottle caps. Okay, uh, and some sugar. Come on, man, it's sugar. Everybody loves sugar. Oh god, damn it. Um, gunpowder. Deal. Fuck off. He's very nice. He'll be back again. I hope. Let's make that crowbar. Even though we don't have any more locked doors, we still have like that locked cabinet. And that's about it. Question mark. Oh, and that one too. Never mind, we don't have the components. Alright, we're just gonna end the day instead of twiddling our thumbs down here. Alright, uh, sleep in bed. Guards, scavenge. Yeah, that's good. Bakery. Let's do the bakery. Why not? I don't think I've tried the bakery before. We'll bring the shovel and the lockpick, even though we got robbed. Because we didn't have a weapon. It's fine. Caution advised. I heard that some people moved in here. Alright. This is the part where we gotta be careful. Ooh, that's definitely somebody. Right? Those are definitely people, yeah. Are you still suffering from the eye pain, Mom? What can I take without stealing? Because stealing also was not the good thing. That's stealing. That's stealing. Okay, over here. Ah, oh, trash and dirt. E. Where are they right now? I don't hear them. Are they just hanging out in that room? I hope. Oh god. Okay, um... Well, this might be a fruitless adventure. Because I don't dare try anything. Both for my morale, and uh, for Pafle's health. He's already sick. You don't need him injured, do you? That's not a door. Cool. What is all that? It looks like cocaine. Probably flour. They really are just hanging out there. Looks like the looks like the actual kitchen. And it's all stealing. Ugh. What do they even have? Is it nothing? Nothing. No. 
Nothing. What's going on over there? I see out the window maybe to see what that noise was. It seems like it might have been rats, but I'm curious. Oh, they're still there. I don't know how to get there. Can't you just jump down? No. Well, this was fruitless, and I think there's two people standing, like, right here that are probably trying to rob them. You really can't go through this door. This door is boarded up. Well, shoot. Of course, they're all just hanging out there. All right, let's just let's just see how they react when I open the door. Hi, hey, we don't want any trouble. Don't touch any of our stuff. Okay. Oh, they're friendly. I'm just gonna casually sneak on by. Hey, mom, it seems we have a visitor. Yeah. Okay. This whole time I was worried about nothing. I could have already been here. God. Oh, and who might that be? Sorry, but my sight is pretty bad since the accident. Are you here to buy some food, dear? Are you a traitor? This whole time, you're a traitor? Oh! <laughs> well, the, ga the game said no and just crashed on me. So, well, you know, I said I was only going to do it until day four, apparently. But my computer sucks. I don't necessarily blame the game because that's actually the first time since... Uh, when did I buy this? I mean, I've had this game since 2017, at least. It came out in 2014, so I'm pretty sure I got it a little sooner than that, probably like 2015. So, I've had this game for quite a while. This is the first time it's ever crashed on me, so I'm, I'm just going to blame the computer and move on with my... Anyway, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you are new here and you want to see more content from me in general, hit that subscribe button. I don't care for the bell. Uh, if you want, again, if you want to support, uh, any of the things that I listed, there are links to the two charities that I said, and probably any other charities that I can find, uh, down in the description below, as well as links to all of my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, you want to follow my Twitch account or join my subreddit. Links are all in the description down below. Um, I just want to state this since I don't think I actually said it before. If you cannot, uh, donate in any way do not worry about it it this is only if you are in a good enough spot that you can actually donate so yeah uh i will see you guys later and fuck the war